What's up, y'all? Timothy Almilam Jr. here, and you're watching Milam Asylum. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this review serves you well um, and keeps you from either spending your hard-earned cash or saving your hard-earned cash because during these trying times, money is hard to come by and it's being valued much less, but sought after more. Uh, today, whoosh, Warrior Peanut Butter Creme. Now, I did a the honey something rather of this product before. And I want to say that I gave it around a nine. Um, I don't remember. That was such a long time ago. But uh, I finally found some different products of the same brand. So let's just get into it. My favorite thing is, you know, the, the fucking cool ass symbol, the little warrior tribal guy. And then obviously the top. And this is a real wood. Is the cork real? I don't remember. Let's uh, deep dive into this and find out. So as I try to open this, let's talk a little bit about the Batman. No spoilers. But uh, I'm really enjoying Robert Pattinson's take on it, and he's he's more of a realistic, relatable Batman, and Bruce Wayne, and he does a great job with his American accent. Um, uh, Colin Farrell, that was a big shocker. And he does a very good New York accent. Um, just overall, they're just introducing this cast of uh, great actors um, subtly throughout the uh, film. And it's a nice surprise. Um, but uh, um, I haven't finished. I'm halfway through. And so far, it's, it's, it's on its way to a solid 10, I think, um, at this point. Um, but anyways, yeah, no spoilers. Sorry if I spoiled the uh, Colin Farrell. All right. Ooh. Yeah, there it is. Fake cork with a badass wood topper. Ah, Farrell. All right. Okay. It, it comes across as... Not like a peanut butter uh, scent, but more of a peanut scent. So, like, you just smash up a bunch of peanuts. Or you walked into a roadhouse and there's peanut shells all over the fucking floor. And all that can, can't be sanitary. But anyways, um, that's what it smells like. Let's get in tasting it. Hmm. Interesting. So it comes across very creamy with uh, no flavor whatsoever at the very beginning. More of an alcohol uh, based, um, but not peanut butter. And then once the alcohol dissipates from your tongue, the peanut butter comes crashing in. So you got this weird alcohol -y cream flavor that's not very tasty. And then a wave of peanut butter comes crashing in. And by far, this is probably my favorite peanut butter flavored uh, alcoholic um, drink I have tried. This is 17% alcohol by volume. And for those of you that can't do math, it's 34%. Um, it's veteran owned. And Warrior is... Uh, Hand selected ingredients blending, blending them with a the flavor of rich peanut butter. Uh, we they distill the bottle in small batches and produce exception, exceptional quality because our name goes on it. So these guys take pride in what they do. They try to set up a very 
very personal experience um, for their buyers, but not also that they put pride into their work because their names are going on it. And I wish that was how all companies were like, but sadly, that's not the case. Now, although this is very low in alcohol, um, in this bottle alone was, I want to say this was $15, $14.95, I want to say. And so as expensive as it is for $17 or 70% 70 alcohol by volume, this is more along the, the price of wine and a, a better choice of a, a higher end wine, but not too high, you know, you know what I'm saying? Kind of that middle of the road where you're spending a little bit of money to get less, but you're getting great flavor. So overall, I'd have to slap this with an 8.8 .8 just because of where the price range is versus the flavor versus the alcohol uh, content that you're paying for. Is it worth the money? I would say yes, because it is good, but it's too high priced for the alcohol content. Um, but other than that, that's your review. I'm Timothy Almayam Jr. Until next time, fuck off.